Item Number SCP-7109 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures A copy of SCP-7109 is kept on a 5 and 1 4 inch floppy disk at Site-76. The containment locker must be checked monthly for signs of plant growth. Any reports of disembodied voices in the vicinity are to be reported directly to the Project Director. MTF Sigma-5, Drop Table Task Forces, is responsible for detecting and removing copies of SCP-7109 from internet forums and file sharing services. Description: SCP-7109 is a video game titled Appalachia, released by Arcadia for Apple II computers in 1981. Records suggest that Arcadia employee Thomas Green developed SCP-7109 in its entirety. Mr. Green was unavailable for comment, however, due to his execution by the state of Virginia in 1983. SCP-7109 is a management sandbox game that tasks players with managing a wilderness area. Players do this by modifying the terrain as well as placing plants and animals native to eastern North America. The map is laid out as a 500 by 500 grid. The starting terrain is visually equivalent to that in a 2.5 km radius surrounding the computer running the software, including wall and fence tiles that cannot manually be placed by the player. If the player makes a game save, changes to the real world roughly equivalent to those in game will manifest at midnight the following day. This includes changes to terrain, manifestation of flora and fauna, and demolition of structures. All copies made of SCP-7109 possess these properties, including those run in emulation software. Only one copy of SCP-7109 has been recovered, which appears to be partially corrupted. Undercover solicitations for information on Parawatch and other internet forums have failed. While a few individuals were aware of SCP-7109, none were aware of its anomalous properties or able to provide an undamaged copy. The Foundation has also been unable to recover a manual, whether physical or digital, despite all reports indicating that SCP-7109 was originally distributed with one. Thus, all instructions for how to operate SCP-7109 have been obtained through trial and error. Experiment Log The following tests were conducted to catalog the different fauna manifested by SCP-7109. While the various plant varieties were reasonably well documented in game and confirmed by prior testing, the names of most of the animals had been corrupted. Area 276 was chosen for both remoteness and for the reduced likelihood of introducing invasive species to the surrounding environment. Dr. Alex Rhodes was placed in charge of the experiments. Date: October 6, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 0 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: One adult male beaver manifested at the expected time and place. Date: October 7, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 1 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: One adult female black bear manifested at the expected time and place. Date: October 8, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 2 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: no manifestation observed. Further testing advised. Date: October 9, 2022. Test description: 10 instances of animal number 2 were spawned inside the test corral. Result: No manifestation observed. Further testing advised. Date: October 10, 2022. Test description: 100 instances of animal number 2 were spawned inside the test corral. Result: No manifestation observed. Further testing advised. It looks like this feature isn't working. We'll try the maximum tomorrow just in case, and then move on. Dr. Rhodes. Date, October 11th, 2022. Test description. 32,767 instances of animal number 2 were spawned inside the test corral. Footnote 1. The maximum number of specimens SCP-7109 could spawn at once. Result. No specimens were observed manifesting. However, many personnel awoke the following night to find that their beds and living quarters were infested with cockroaches. The testing had apparently manifested thousands of cockroaches in a sewer pipe located beneath the testing corral. Further testing was postponed to allow the facility to be fumigated. The corral was moved elsewhere on Area 276 grounds to prevent further incidents. Several personnel requested to be transferred to different projects following the incident. These requests were denied. Date: October 17, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 3 was spawned inside the test corral. 
Result: One bald eagle manifested at the expected time. The specimen flew off before it could be collected. A roof was added to the corral to compensate. Date: October 20th, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 4 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: An adult male gray wolf manifested inside the test corral at the expected time. The specimen later tested positive for rabies and was immolated. Date: October 21st, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 5 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: No manifestation observed. After conducting a thorough review to confirm that there were no pipes, tunnels, mine shafts, or lava tubes situated beneath the corral, testing was allowed to continue. Date: October 22nd, 2022. Test description: 10 instances of animal number 5 were spawned inside the test corral. Result: No manifestation observed. That's enough. Let's move on. Dr. Rhodes. Date: October 23rd, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number 6 was spawned inside the test corral. Result: An adult female turkey manifested inside the test corral at the expected time. The same night, one of Area 276's perimeter guards failed to return from his shift and was reported missing. It was determined that this incident was unlikely to be related to SCP-7109, and testing was allowed to continue. Date: October 24, 2022. Test description: One instance of animal number seven was spawned inside the test corral. Result: Test aborted, as the corral fence was found forced open in several places. Researchers note: October 24, 2022. After I finished the test paperwork, I went down to the corral. I wanted to see the damage for myself. It can't be understated. The metal may as well have been tied in knots in places. I've seen totaled cars with more structural integrity. I wondered aloud to myself, what on earth could have done this? And I swear I heard someone behind me laughing. I was alone. I've tried to talk the director into letting us cancel testing, but he isn't taking me seriously. He thinks I'm just being jumpy after the roaches. Let's finish the job and get out of here. Dr. Rhodes. Date. October 27th, 2022. Test description. One instance of animal number 7 was spawned inside the test corral. Result. An adult male elk manifested inside the test corral at the expected time. This animal was notably spooked, even compared to the other specimens collected. Date. October 28th, 2022. Test description. One instance of animal number 8 was spawned inside the test corral. Result. Test aborted when the computer running SCP-7109 began producing smoke. Several vines had become entwined with the PC's internal components and caused it to overheat. Further testing was postponed until a new Apple II computer could be delivered. Researchers note, October 29th, 2022. Five more people have gone missing, two of them on my team. The area director has declared a state of emergency and ordered us to evacuate. We loaded up the vans, but none of them would start. When the mechanics looked at them, they found that all of the gas tanks were full of moss. They're supposed to send a group to relieve us, but I don't know how much longer we can last. Dr. Rhodes. Researchers note, October 30th, 2022. I hear them laughing in the walls now. All contact with Area 276 was lost on October 31st, 2022. The cause of this is currently unknown. All logs and surveillance footage from the previous 24 hours had been replaced with the following message. You are playing this game illegally. Video game piracy is theft and a serious crime under federal and international copyright law. Severe civil and criminal penalties may be imposed in addition to the damages you have already suffered. Please support us at Arcadia by calling 1-555-272-2342 and purchasing a legitimate copy of Appalachia. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.